It's almost Fat Thursday, so of course we need to try some delicious Polish recipes. Light as air and deliciously crisp and sweet. We're making some Favorki. Hi everybody and welcome to my kitchen. The first thing we're going to do for a delicious Favorki is separate some eggs. We only need the egg yolks. To this I'm gonna add in my all-purpose flour. I just want to make sure that I sift it first to get rid of any lumps. I also have some sugar, melted butter, a little splash of vanilla, I've also got some delicious sour cream going in here. I have a tiny pinch of salt and some vodka. You need a high percentage alcohol here because it helps to prevent the favorki from absorbing a lot of oil, similar to what we did for our cannoli. There's a video, click it up there if you want to watch it. And I'm going to mix everything together by hand using a wooden spoon. Okay, and when you have a bit of a shaggy dough, everything looks nice and dry. Now's the time to dump it onto your work surface and start kneading it by hand. And I'm gonna knead until I get a somewhat cohesive ball of dough. We've got a nice ball of dough here now, and surprisingly, it's very, very sticky. It looked at the start like it wasn't gonna come together, but here we are. I'm gonna add in a little bit of extra flour just to prevent it from sticking to my hands onto the board. Favorki are also sometimes called hrust and they're a beautiful treat for Fat Thursday or you can also have them for Christmas. In English, they're known as angel wings. Okay, I think we're looking good. Add a bit of extra flour and I'm gonna roll this out a little bit. I've got it just under a centimeter in thickness. So now I'm gonna fold it up and then I'm gonna roll it again. By adding all these layers, we're making sure that our end result is going to be nice and crisp. When you get to this point, it's getting quite thick now. You can use your rolling pin and bash it a bit and then continue with the rolling process. We'll probably do this for about 10 minutes and then I'll show you what the dough looks like. My dough is nice and soft and smooth now, so I'm going to do one final fold. I'm going to wrap this in cling film and let it rest in the fridge for 20 minutes. Right, I've taken my dough out of the fridge now, so now we have to roll it out really, really thin. Again, just going with a bit of flour because the last thing you want to do is to get your dough nice and thin and then everything sticks. Okay, I've got my dough as thin as I can possibly get it. I'm like running out of space on my board as well, so that is it. So now I'm gonna get a knife and cut some nice strips out of this. Don't worry about the jaggedy edges or anything like that. I've got about 10 strips here. Each of them is about 50 centimeters and what we want to do is now cut them diagonally we'll probably get four out of each of these strips now using the same knife I'm gonna cut a little slit right in the middle of each of them probably about a two centimeter slit okay so now we're gonna do the most easiest part of this recipe so you're gonna take your little strip with the slit and you're essentially putting one end through the slit and pulling it all the way through and this is a perfect part of the recipe for your children to do. I was never a young boy growing up in Poland, but I'm told that that's typically how it works. So if you've got little gremlins running around the house, get them to help you with this part. I've got some oil heating up now. It's about 180 degrees Celsius. I'm just gonna test it with some leftover dough. And that's exactly what we want. We want to see bubbles as soon as you put the dough in and it should cook in about 30 seconds to a minute. You need to wash them very, very carefully. You don't want it to be too brown. You don't want them sitting in the oil too long either because they'll soak up a little bit of that oiliness. We are ready. When you're deep frying, never overcrowd the pan. I'm probably going to do about four at a time. That gives me enough control over each individual one of them. Make sure they don't brown too much. Flip them halfway through and put them into some paper towels to soak up any excess oil. I'm just flipping my last batch. And you know what? Those scraps I fried as well and I'm gonna eat them. They're gonna be delicious. All done. Let me clean up a little bit and we'll finish them off. I'm gonna get my little angel wings and arrange them nicely, or well, evenly on uh, my surface. We're gonna hit them now with some powdered sugar. We did add a little bit of sugar into the dough, but not enough to give them any flavor. And now with the help of a little sieve, I'm gonna sprinkle them with powdered sugar. Be as liberal as you want here. This is where all of the sweetness is coming from. Okay, now we moved into a serving plate and we're done. These look so good, let me give them a try. Mmm, oh wow. They're such a beautiful texture. 
lightest air and four little air bubbles inside and a perfect amount of sweetness with the icing sugar on top. These are amazing. You're gonna wanna make sure you give them a try. The ingredients are in the description below. While you're down there, make sure you share, like, and subscribe. If you're Polish and you grew up eating these, let me know if they look anything like what you've had in the past. Show me your results on the gram. With that, I'll leave it for this video and enjoy. Happy Tuesday to Bartek.